doing the water test for the Pro Guide V7 175 um, by Tracker, and it's March 30th. We are going to give this run through its paces real quick, make sure everything is working and good. Um, at startup here, we've got 14 volts on the meter here. Trim is all the way down. Here, I'll do, run the trim up. So there you go, you can see the gauge go up, run the trim back down. Uh, fuel gauge sitting here, just uh, almost to uh, three quarters. Um, here's our water pressure. That should go up and down when the motor's uh, going faster or slower. RPM gauge here. And then we have, this is actually a GPS uh, uh, driven tech, or not tech, uh, uh, speed, uh, mile per hour gauge, speedometer. And that's got the, uh, they use GPS for its actual speed, so it's actually accurate because most of those aren't if they're gauges, they're dials. Uh, we've got uh, all of our pumps, we'll go ahead and fire these off. We've got the uh, rear main, fire off all our pumps here, and the bilge pump. Well, that's just a that's just a cooler tank or a drain tank. Is this one filling up? Good. Okay, so those are good. Turn those off. You can hear the bilge pump fire off. There's not any water, obviously, in there to pump out, but good. We got our horn, and then we got a forward recirculator pump. You can hear it turn on, and that circulates the water without bringing more in, without running the back pump. All right, so there we go with that. Looks like everything's going good on there. We've got our our Lawrence Elite 5 here. Fire this off, make sure everything's good there. And one thing about this boat is it actually has the hot foot pedal down here. So this is actually where you're gonna throttle the boat with your foot here. And this is just gonna go into gear. At first it's a little tricky, cause I mean, I've driven a lot of boats and I'm used to, I'm used to being able to put it in gear here and look, nothing. But if you push the pedal, you can hear it rev up. That's all just hooked to the throttle. Okay, we'll let that fire off here. It's still getting warmed up. Let's go ahead and put the boat in gear and run it around a little bit. So now I'm in gear, trimmed all the way down. Okay. There we go. We're starting to get our thing going, except it says we're two feet deep. <laughs>
That does good. That moves along. Steering on, it's got the safety steering. Everything handles good on the steering, so you don't have to worry about that. It's not squirmy. Uh, the boat does good. We ran through a little bit of our own chop back there. It has some wind, wind chop as well, and it seemed to handle that pretty good. Stability-wise, it's easy to drive. You don't have to know a lot about trimming out and stuff. It did like to be trimmed out. Um, I'm right here. This is where it liked to run. So on the trim gauge right here, it's right about between the middle of the first two. Um, and that was on the top end where it liked to be. So, so the trim is up to about there and that'll give you a good indicator of where you want to be at uh, for, for speed and everything. Um, lots of obvious fishing options like galore in here. So many, so many things. This is a fishing machine. I bet if I drove over here by the bank, I'd have fish jump inside the boat. That's an EFI little figure. So I kind of feel like that. Starting out here at the bow or at the, at the tongue on this because we're going to go start the trailer. We had a two inch ball, retractable. These retract in and come out. Those are your safety chains. And then we've got a four flat plug. The breakaway tongue or swing away tongue here uh, releases. This has got a coating. This trailer they do for Trekker has got a coating on it. Uh, they call it the Galva Shield, which makes it last a bit longer, a little less rust issues. We've got a, a winch strap with the safety strap below it. Uh, simple, easy, uh, easy load on this boat. We just brought it in. It was really easy to load onto the trailer. It does come with a spare here as well. A swing, swing away jack here. Uh, you can see the Minn Kota Tarova. This is, I believe, is a 55 pound thrust. Which doesn't say anywhere. I believe it's a 55 pound thrust. 12 volt. And that comes with the remote control and the foot pedal. So you actually get both. So you can do it with, a, with your foot or you can have the hand remote with this unit specifically. Uh, you plug your lights in here. So your bow light goes here with your uh, red and green here. And then the horn is part of this whole assembly too as well. I've got an Elite 3 fish finder in the bow here. And then we also have access to the tilt trim up here as, in the front as well, as well as a 12 volt plug there for charging other accessories. Um, as you see in the running video, live wells up front here. We'll get inside the boat here and get a little bit better look at that. Um, along the trailer, the trailer looks good and straight. Good tires on it. Tires look great on it. Uh, it does have the, the uh, side guides. So this keeps it in the wind. It makes it easier to uh, load. We had a lot of wind when we were just loading it here at the lake. And it did a great job lining up on the trailer and going right up on it. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of fuss. Real easy load and easy launch. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, a little bit of damage on the hull here. There's a small dent right here. You really can't tell unless you're close and get the light just right. There's also a small ding on the front here. It's mostly hidden by this, by this motor, but there's a small, small ding in the nose cone there. If you look real close, it's, it's, it's dinged there. And then a couple of little dock rash here and there, but nothing that doesn't come off. This all comes off really easy with just some acetone. Acetone will wipe, wipe that right off. And so that'll do good. Uh, not seem to have any corrosion anywhere on the boat. Doesn't seem to have any salt corrosion. I don't think this is a salt water boat at all. It should be all fresh water with this boat. Um, let's go around here. It does have the swim deck with the loading ladder. Now a lot of boats don't come with loading ladders anymore. This is something to think about. If you fall in, how do you get back in the boat? Well, this makes it obviously very simple to do so. So there you go. That's And also for water sports, this boat is pretty much a multi-purpose boat. Especially, we'll look at these seats here in a second. On the transom straps, the retractables. So you just grab that, pull them off, push this down, all the way down. They come loose. You can unhook it. And then you just hook it back up. And they're tight and you're done. Super quick, super fast. I've got a transom saver here on the back as well. 
uh, for the motor. And then we've got uh, bimini top. This does have a full top cover that snaps. It has the side windows, it has the top and the front. And then the back is open though. It doesn't close off on the back, but that gives you ability to keep out of the weather and uh, extend your season quite a bit. All right, let's hop back up in there, take a good look at the side condition there, and we'll go up inside. So first things first, is you have the ability to put another seat here. So these seats will plug into this place here if you want to fish off the back. It does have a spot here where you can hook up a tow pole. This just unscrews. This one's just a plug, but it has a tow pole, I believe, inside here. You can hook up, there's your lights, your back light, which plugs in right here. And then, and then you have the front light that goes up in the front we looked at earlier. Okay, it has a few rod holders with the slide uh, brackets, so these can move around and, and, and go wherever you need them to, to, to fit. Uh, here's the cool thing. So if you are going with multiple passengers, you have an auxil auxiliary seats in the back here, so you can load a lot of people into this little boat. Um, even though it's a five person capacity, on the sticker you got plenty of seats and then underneath that is where the live well or this is a storage bin here the other side is the live well and then they go flat for a walking surface this is the actual live well on this side as we saw running um, this trolling motor is actually almost brand new it's barely even been wet yet um, hardly used at all as you can see in the ad here super low hours on the main motor here super duper low hours um, i think we're under 100 total i think like in the 50s okay some storage in the middle here too so you have a storage compartment here for rods and other gear so you can get that and get stuff off the floor a couple of things you can't see very well i want to expo uh, show everything on there this vinyl flooring is good but right here it's bubbled up a little bit so you can see it's kind of coming up a little bit i don't think it's that consequential uh, it's pretty basic, but just so that you do know that that is there, that is something and we don't, and we're all about full disclosure. So I want to make sure you can see that there's a little bit, that's the only spot, a little bit, tiny bit right here. looks like it's just simply factory, um, coming up right there. The trick to here, I'm going to show you one thing as well is the battery. So the battery is behind this right here. You just unscrew this, these cup holders and the battery is right behind there. So. It's kind of easy to get to when you know where it is. That helps off. We've got some good tunes going for it here. We've got some storage up here. Another uh, drain tank. It could be used as a cooler because it has a drain on it. This is your glove box. And this is the remote here for the Minn Kota. It does have the iPilot with spot lock on it. And then we have the stereo there too. Pick that up has a filler piece right here in the middle that you can put in there if you want to do some lounging. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh, here's our trolling motor battery access right here. These are the batteries for the bow mount trolling motor. And I say it's a 12 volt, it must be a 24. I'm wrong, but usually they say it on the head of them, but I didn't see that. It's not on there. And then you have, you also have the uh, live well up front here too, which is a bait tank as well, because it has the little circle. Uh, Another access. This is where you can mount the, the foot controls and you can lift that up and put that. I think it's easier just not to. Uh, tilt trim here for the motor and then the plug in for the trolling motor. And then we've got the little guy here. Looks like it powers up good. Yep. Three feet deep. Hold that. Done. Shut him down. And there's a couple of cushions that you can put up here. So this really can become a multi-purpose boat. Uh, windshield here just shuts down. So you've got good uh, wind block on the front there as well. So there's that, that to make it easier too. Uh, foot, hot foot, like we talked about. Uh, a lot of options on this boat. Storage on both sides, lots of storage. I mean, that's kind of what you expect from a tracker. Um, all welded hull here. So there's a lot of... There's a lot going on with this boat here. This top is brand new too. So this isn't even like used and worn. It's like new, the top is. And then the, uh, like I said, the kicker motor is new too. The trolling motor, the fifth, and it's a 15. And it's fuel injected. Like that's legit right there. 
that's that's worth a bit. And I like where they put everything on these these controls. It's like all right here instead of up on the side of the motor like the Yamaha. Right here, shift right on the end, so you have plenty of room to get to it. Sit right here on the tiller, piece of cake. 115 runs awesome. It does have some scratches from a cover being on it with the wind or something blowing on it. There's a few little scratches along here. And then around the cowling on the lower, you can see some, that was where the cover was kind of wearing on it. Um, full maintenance though, solid maintenance on it. And I think that's it. So there you go. Um, battery charger up underneath there for the bow mount. Got a battery, uh, battery charger and shoot that's it it should be a great fishing boat so if you're into fishing has want to do some family fun some towing and stuff too boat works out good multi-season because of the top and uh live wells this thing's a machine lots and lots to do um, good quality newer boat in 2015 a good good quality boat overall and good prices too on this this thing will be at a great price so uh, let's uh, make a deal on it. We'll get you over here and uh, get you hooked up. You saw the video. Everything's working on it. Everything's good to go.